I'm here saving your life and Bay's. Get to it. Follow me, camera. Hey, welcome to Cooking for Bay. <laughs> That's gonna be my like theme song. <laughs> I'm like dancing and I go. And welcome to the first installment of Cooking for Bay. This is gonna be Super Bowl edition. Today's first installment, I'll be making tequila lime wings. And this is the greatest recipe ever because one, it's super easy. Even the most, I don't know, the worst cook in the world can probably make this. And it also is easy to make because you can easily do it for a quick appetizer for your game night for you know Sunday football even football season is over whatever next year you can always do it you know if you just want to have you know day over you want to impress them a little bit be like boo look what I just whipped up in the kitchen for you uh -huh. something easy like that so let's get started so I'm going to start out by just sprinkling some ground pepper on the chicken and when I tell you that this is a super easy recipe I really kid you not it's super freaking easy Anyway, I'm going to get a lot because there's a lot of chicken. I'm going to end up mixing this all together, but for now, this is what it is. And I'm going to take some sea salt I like to use. Apparently, it's better than regular salt, but I don't know. My mother told me that, so I, I just follow what she says. Um, so, yeah. Putting in some salt on the chicken. I'm actually going to end up putting some of this because it says sea salt don't be coming out correctly. You know, I need my salt. <laughs> So I'm not one to really put my hands in the chicken because I have nails and it gets in the nails and it's kind of gross. So I'm going to just be bougie and my spoon here. They will appreciate that if you don't have chicken in your nails, that'd be kind of gross. Like, you know, you're scratching up is that gross. So anyway, here I am mixing up the chicken because literally this is really all you do. And I see that the pepper is not really coated on there, so I'm going to just go back and really, you know, get in there because we like our seasonings over here. Over here, yeah. So now I'm gonna just pour a little bit of lime juice on here because why not? The recipe does not call for that, but it really follows instructions anyway. So I'm gonna still stir this up a little bit more. Make sure it's all coated. Oh, it smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell this because it smells amazing. Anyway, so yeah, that's about it. And I'm about to now put it on the pan. You want to layer the chicken on the foil in one layer because you want everything to cook the same. And yeah. Who think that you guys can't cook? <laughs> this is the most simple thing in the world. You're going to be like, wow. And your bae will appreciate it. And it's Super Bowl had just passed so hope your team favorite team won and if it was the Patriots it's your favorite team yeah. so here we are we are done put my chicken on the cookie sheet and now I'm going to put it in the oven but I put this in for 45 minutes and let it do its nice juicy stuff and we're gonna come back to this in a second I'm gonna start doing my sauce gonna get interesting because I'm a sauce person you don't know anything about me just know that I eat sauce all day like it's really bad and disgusting apparently but who gonna check me blue right I'm about to make the tequila lime sauce and that calls for the agave nectar I've actually never used this before and I test taste tested it earlier today and it's like heaven and crack mixed together. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. If heaven had a taste, right here, agave nectar, get into it because it's really freaking delicious. This also calls for some lime juice. I'm going for adobo sauce and I got two limes here because I am going to put some fresh lime in it. I'm actually going to zest these limes for a little nice garnishing and also brings a lot of flavor into the chicken as well. Of course, my dearest friend, this is actually my bae in real life, Senor Jose Cuervo. I actually miss the Cuervo, but okay. So I'm going to have fun with him a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to now start off with the lime sauce. I mean lime juice, whatever it is. 
I'm actually gonna pour a lot in here because you know we're making sauce. Two shots like that vine. I'm just kidding now, but I'm really gonna really go in. Okay, let's see how that goes. I'm gonna just taste test it as life goes on to see what I need to add more of because I can taste it a little bit. Woo! We have a lot of tequila. <laughs> Um, and now for heaven in a jar, if I can open it. Squirt it a little bit in there, a lot of it. And this is the chipotle and adobo sauce. So like I said before, you only need the sauce. I'm not going to put the peppers in. It's actually really spicy, actually. So it's going to give a nice heat taste to it, which is pretty good. Right here. And now I'm gonna zest my lime. And hopefully it comes out. It is. Oh, zest is pretty bad. Okay, so it's a good enough amount for now. I just wanna mix it and then I'm going to taste test it. See if it tastes good. That's actually my favorite part of the cooking process taste testing. Well, this is pretty good, actually. Ooh, pretty good. That shit, right? Ooh, it has a nice, nice kick of heat to it. It has a nice kick of heat. But I'm missing something. I don't know. So, if you can look into this. Get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. So, it's really liquidy. Not really constant. Very much like water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little cornstarch to thicken it, make it more of a sauce, so that the only thing I can describe it as being sticky or clumpy, it's just gonna be more more solid, not as liquidy, not as fluid. I want it to really stick onto my wings because it's like a lip. So I decided that I wanted my sauce to be a lot more sticky and to be more of a glaze. So I'm putting it on the stove. And I'm adding some honey, whatever it feels like. So I'm going to stir this often. I don't want it to boil at all because I don't want it to get too thick and condensed. So you only want it to like simmer a little bit, maybe five to eight minutes. But you make that judgment call. But just don't make it so that it'll boil because then that'll really suck ass. You don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. So now that our chicken is done out the oven, I have the glaze and I got that off the stove. It is actually nice, thicker, glazy texture. I'm gonna drop the chicken into this to basically coat, ooh, coat it. But this is all nicely coated. I, I love my I love my chicken to have you know completely all around done. Now that I've dipped my chicken in the glaze, I told you I am a soft person. So what I'm going to do is actually glaze some more chicken, more juices on top of the chicken. And you know what? F it. I'm just going to pour it on top. Call it a day. Let's go. We out here. This is going to make a nice, oh my God, can I wait for the color to come through? It's going to be so nice and brown and, oh my God, it's going to be so delicious. And it has a little, I tell you that heat. And it smells delicious and it has a little spice to it. I'm spice, I like my food spicy, and I am the exact same way. So, words to fat, who must have been talking about me? <laughs> that would be undiking like that, so, may not have been. Anyway, so yeah, so you're gonna see this chicken. It looks like it's swimming in sauce, but that's exactly how I like it, and that's exactly how it should be. So, we'll see. Let's go. I'm gonna put this, pop this back on in the oven. I'm sorry, this is my song. Shout out to Pizzy and All right, taking out the chicken because the chicken is finally done. Oh my god, look at it! I wish you guys could smell this because I put the honey in. It really smells like. Hmm. I would say it smells like sex, but we all know what sex smells like. I'm gonna say it smells like heaven. So if heaven had a taste, it would taste like the agave nectar. But if it had a smell, Aki, get into there. Get into there. Look at that. Look at all of that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all really? 
I can't wait for y'all to make this at home and try it yourself because this is absolutely amazing. And this is really my pride and joy right now. <laughs> so, here is the final product. I garnished it with a little lemon zest and some green onions. Some lime on the side in case you want to put a little bit more lime juice on it. And that's it. Simple and easy as pie. So, this concludes my first episode of Cooking for Bay. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really look forward to making more dishes for you guys. If you have any suggestions, comment below. And I'm here. Cook anything. Great. Don't, and we all love chicken. Like, literally, chicken is probably the best thing that really ever happened to me. Like, since I got teeth in my mouth, I'm pretty sure I've been eating chicken all different types of ways.